Hello, my name is Jacqueline Dahl, and on Tuesdays I do this show called Art Talk. Art Talk is a show where I share with you the creations that I make, emphasize the need for people to express themselves um, through their imagination, their creativity. Um, art can be very therapeutic, like I've said in many of my channel, one of my channels, I only have two channels, many of my uh, art tutorials, they can be very therapeutic. Um, so today what I want to do is show you how to make a bottle doll. And uh, this is per request from a subscriber, so thank you subscriber, you know who you are if you're watching. Um, I'm also burning an incense and I like that, doing that, because that, it sets the mood for having a peaceful and calmful, calmful, <laughs> a peaceful and calm and stress reduced time while you're creating art. I think that's very important, especially, you know, if you've had a very long day and you're getting into this right now. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a small bottle doll. So uh, I'm using a glass bottle, this right here, little glass bottle, and a rock, that simple. And also some uh, scraps of uh, from a magazine. You can tear up newspaper, you can tear up any kind of paper that's really lightweight and not too heavy. If you use heavyweight paper, say like ads or postcards or things like that, it would work, but you have to put more Mod Podge on it and you have to hold it tight. So, and then so all I need is Mod Podge. Oops. Uh -oh. <laughs> I keep the Mod Podge inside of this. It looks kind of gross if you look inside. It's just Mod Podge, it's a little bit dried. And what it is is that I use it, well, hold on. <laughs> I use it as an agent to help bond the paper mache to the glass jar. So basically what I want to do first is the actual body. This is going to be the body. <clears throat> and this is a messy job, so maybe be near a sink or, you know, just warning you. <laughs> so you basically just dip the, um, the paper strips into the Mod Podge. Let's see. So you're doing is paper macheing it. That way when you paint the design on it, it will um, adhere to it. The paint will adhere to it a lot easier than just a regular glass surface. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. See that? How it's on there? Let's see. So you're gonna put you're gonna coat this. You can even like put the Mod Podge on the glass surface first and then put the uh, strips of paper on there like I just did now, rub it on there. I'm using my hands. Uh, it's a messy activity, but it's very relaxing because you're being very tactile and you're concentrating on just having fun. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to put it on the whole entire bottle. I like to do, um, you don't have to do more than one uh, layer of this Mod Podge here. You could just do, you could do like two or three and that just makes it stronger and harder and a much more interesting surface to work on when you paint it, when you get ready to paint the design on there. So now that you've got the Mod Podge onto the glass jar, you're going to insert, first what you want to do is on the, on the inside of the, the glass bottle, you want to put a little bit of Mod Podge on there, just on the inside. That way, when you put the glass, not glass, when you put the stone in there, the rock in there, it's going to stay in there a lot better. So you just place this right here. You're going to have to hold it steady if you don't have a rock that fits exactly. And basically what I'm going to do is put a little bit of Mod Podge on the bottom of the rock. <clears throat> and then I take some of the strips of paper and just kind of wrap it around it because we're going to try to seal it in place. It's this part is the trickiest part of all the parts of making a, a bottle doll. Um, you don't always have to use glass. You can use um, you can use a plastic bottle. It doesn't have to be glass. So yeah. So basically, what you did is uh, you paper mache it on there. You're gonna have to let it dry and. After it dries, we'll come back uh, next week and we'll work on painting it. So yeah. Wow, my hands are messy. <laughs>
Thank you for joining me today for today's show of Art Talk. Hope you guys got a lot out of it today. This is just part one of how to make a glass bottle doll. So stay tuned for next week and I will see you guys soon. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos on my channel. And thank you for your kind comments. And yeah, get outside and be creative. Or if you have to be inside, then still be creative. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to figure out how to turn this off. See you guys.